What's going on everybody? I recently upgraded my graphic card, which means now it's time for me to sell my old one. But before I do, I want to make sure there's a fresh application of thermal paste on there because when it comes to used products, a lot of the ones that still have some good value and power to them, one of the things that diminishes that over time, whether it's a graphics card or a processor, is that thermal paste. So we're going to show you today how to do that on this card. This is a Radeon RX 580. This is the 8 gig edition from MSI, and this is also the overclocked edition, the armor variant. There's a few different types and styles. To this day, the Radeon RX 580 is still one of the best price performance graphics cards out there for 60 frames per second, 1080p, but of course that's gonna be changing as games get better and stronger. This model doesn't have a lot of frills and thrills to it. Dual fan design, no backplate for this. So this is going to be an easy job. We're going to take care of these four screws right back here, and we're not going to worry about that little warranty sticker. Not anymore. While you're doing this, there are springs on there. I'm not sure if those are connected to the screw. It looks like they are, so they shouldn't fly out. And for this little sticker here, just punch through. There we go. Like so. Now this should free the heat sink and fans from here. So we might need to, we might be able to just lift up or give it a little twist. There we go. We're going to disconnect the fans down here. And I'm going to take a minute off camera because this has not been blown out and I'm not doing that in my game room. So this is pretty dusty. I'm going to clean this up and then we'll get back to it. Now that we have some of the dust blown off, we can take care of the old thermal compound. What I like to do for the heat sink is I like to take a razor blade and scrape that off. I do not do that when it comes to this side. So this, all Q-tips and alcohol. With that majority off there, now we can clean that up. And now for the next part. Just be very careful and gentle. This is the heart and soul of the graphic card. I don't know if you can hear that. It's starting to sound squeaky clean. Is that the die or is that the eye? There are a few things in the PC building community that are more divisive than how much thermal paste you should put on. Um, and here's the thing, no matter what you think, someone out there thinks you're wrong. Either way, we're gonna be using some Arctic Silver and, I don't know, maybe I'll be a little generous. I'm not sure. We'll see where it goes. So with thermal compound, obviously you're creating a connection between the die and the cooler. So you really only need just a little bit because that's gonna thin out. Some people wanna put just a giant blob on there. But usually, something about the size of a pea should hit and spread. 
Of course, me being the paranoid guy that I am, I helped it spread a little bit ahead of time. All right now, the moment of truth. Can we get everything lined up again? I really hope we do. Actually, you know what? Fan first, then the lineup. Now we're gonna get everything set fan first. Just because I'm not sure what that connection is gonna look like once we get the heat sink back on. But there's that, all right. And now for the fun part. There we go. All right, let's get those screws in. Oop, magnetic tip. Now, just like changing a tire, don't over tighten your first screw. In fact, don't over tighten any of them until you get to the end. These are spring loaded. You have feet on the inside. So you should tighten them up. They know where to stop. It's in the engineering. However, you don't want to tighten one side down because everything's going to squeeze out the other end. All right, all the screws have bit. So I'm going to go through, do a couple turns, couple turns, couple turns, couple turns until we get everything locked down. There you have it, reassembled and good to go probably get a few more years out of this card with fresh thermal paste overclock it a little bit more see what else it can do but like I said the Radeon RX 580 still a great card in 2020 definitely worth taking care of whether you're looking to buy a used card that might need some work like this or you just want to protect your card for a couple more years I hope this video helped you out a lot and I appreciate you watching you have a good one thanks